Hi guys, welcome back. So plan schedule management. This is performed to come up with the plan. This is the planning of um, schedule management. So how we are going to perform schedule management, what kind of things uh, we are going to look at, what are the policies, guidelines, standard procedures that is done under plan schedule management. If you don't have these things at place, uh, you'll be um, it will be very tough for you to come up with the you know appropriate timeline when you really sit down to come up with the dates because your management will ask you you have data now if you don't have the plan you will have to first work out and look at all these information who is going on vacation what is the timeline what is the effort and let's say it's 1800 hour efforts now it's a big project but and you have senior resources who are going on leave. So it's a big deal. So you have to have this plan at place. This plan is not creating your timeline. This plan is helping you to create those timelines by establishing certain policies and procedures and putting guidance at place, which will help you. And this is performed at the predefined stages. As you can imagine, it will usually happen um, at the initial level of a project. This is the input output diagram. So we have project charter, management plan, scope management plan and the development approach uh, is very critical here. So it will be uh, input here. Then we have external environmental factors, um, which is very critical. As you can imagine, if there's a change in government policies, um, if there's an issue with, the, you know, some major issue um, with the society, with the economy, with the government, then our project delivery will be impacted. And of course, the organizational process assets, which basically means the templates, the tools, which a company is using. So if you have better tools, the process of coming up with timeline would be really easy. As far as tools and techniques are concerned, we used expert judgment, data analysis, meeting, and the output is a scheduled management plan. This management plan um, guide us in developing our project schedule and as expected the application is updating the schedule management plan so overall um, this plan um, may not sound that important but it's very important um, and you should have it so next we have is define activities we cannot plan our schedule we cannot come up with the schedule if we don't know the activities so we need to identify the activities which we are going to perform in a project and the effort they need to come up with our schedule so in this activity we are identifying those activities which are going to produce our deliverable so it is the process of identifying and documenting the specific actions uh, which needs to be performed to produce deliverable. It breaks down each task into smaller activities. So let's say if we say coding, then um, we need to identify all those major changes. We need to divide that activity into smaller groups and that will help us in correctly estimating them. So uh, coding can be divided, let's say database changes, UI changes, uh, web service changes, and then we will estimate them separately. So if database changes take 80 hours, um, UI changes take another 80 hours, and web service take 160 hours. We will add them up and then we can come up with a timeline for each activity and overall act timeline for the coding activity. And this is performed throughout the project. This is the input output diagram. For input, we have the project management plan, schedule management plan, scope, baseline, environmental factor, OPAs. Uh, for tools and techniques, we have expert judgment, decomposition. Rolling wave planning is basically referred to the planning which is done for agile approaches. So it's an iterative planning technique where the work which is in the near future is planned um, with more details, whereas the distant work uh, is planned with less detail. And you keep uh, more flexibility to accommodate changes at a later stage. And then, of course, you have meetings. Who can forget that, right? <laughs> So yeah, and as far as our outputs are concerned, activity list, activity attributes, milestone list, change request, project management updates, and schedule baseline and cost baseline. And the applications are basically updating our project documents, which will include activity list, activity attribute, milestone list, um, then the change control process, and the 
my project management plan like schedule baseline cost baseline because we are while developing our schedule and timeline we are also looking at our cost estimates the efforts which are needed to uh, implement these changes so that is also going to help us with our cost baselining so that's it for now uh, we have few more activities within this knowledge area we'll address them in the next few videos thank you